Hi, I'm Francoise Rhodes, and I'm some 2,300 feet above Borrego Valley at the Crawford Overlook. Today, we're going to explore the charismatic town of Borrego Springs and also the surrounding Anza Borrego Desert State Park. So stick around for an exciting adventure in Borrego Springs, and welcome to Traveling with Francoise. Hey, want to travel? I'll take you there one at a time. I'll tell you where to play golf. I'll pick the spot and I like it. I know what's hot. It's never too late to get alive. We're here at the Borrego Valley Airport. Yes, airport opened in 1947. With us is the airport manager, Vicki Cole. Hi, Vicki. Hi, how are you? I am fine, thank you. Now, I wanted people to know that they certainly can drive to Borrego Springs, but a lot of them probably don't know that they can fly to Borrego Springs. Yes, they sure can. We have, this is a general aviation airport. We have uh, all sorts of aircraft that come in here. Very large. The C-130s come in with the Canadian Air Force, the Royal Air Force, do a lot of jumping. We have all sorts of uh, experimental aircraft that come in uh, for aerobatics. This is not just for governmental aircraft. This is also for the recreational pilot. Yes, this is. This is a San Diego County Airport. Our runway is 5,000 feet, uh, 75 wide, so we can accommodate almost anything. This is also a great place for pilots, uh, student pilots. They fly in with their right. instructors. Right, a lot of student pilots. But the airport's open 24 hours a day seven days a week. We're here every single day. There you go. You have it from the aviation manager, that works. Vicki Cole. So often when we travel, the attractions are blatantly visible. But here in Borrego Springs, that's not always the case. So I suggest that your first stop when visiting Borrego Springs is at the Welcome Center. Inside, you'll learn everything you need to know about Borrego Springs, all the attractions that you want to see and you don't want to miss. Once inside the Welcome Center here at Borrego Springs, I was fortunate enough to run into the CEO and Executive Director of Borrego Springs Chamber, Linda Haddock. Well, hello, Francoise. You know I love Borrego Springs. Yes. I'm always out here because it is just such a hidden jewel in the desert. So gorgeous out here. Now, for those folks, and I've told them right from the start, you need to start at the Welcome Center. Give us, our viewers, a little idea about all the things you have here in Borrego Springs. Borrego Springs is magical. Number one, it's an international dark sky community. It's the California's only dark sky community. We have about 3,500 residents and we're 100% surrounded by the Anza Borrego Desert State Park. In the season, we grow to about seven to 15,000, and we get about a half million to a million five visitors a year. Now, you had a super bloom a year or so ago. We had people who literally flew in and came to Borrego from Hong Kong, from Japan. We had somewhere between 150,000 and 250,000 on one weekend. All right, and they're coming back this season too. They'll be back every season because it's so much fun out here. Now, here at the Welcome Center, also the Chamber, when you have visitors that come to Borrego Springs for the first time, what are the highlights? What shouldn't they miss? You can't miss the statues. We have 130 of the most magical statues. They're metal works of art. They're spread all over the desert like going on a treasure hunt. And now we're going to hop in a Jeep and we're going to take a tour of the area. Yes. We're going to go cruising around. I can't wait for that. But since we were talking about your international visitors, you have a, you have a little surprise here for your visitors here at the Welcome Center. Well, we have our Welcome Center coordinator, Hilda McFarland. Hilda? Quiero darle las bienvenidas aquí a Borrego Springs y acuérdense cuando vengan para acá, vengan a visitarnos aquí al centro de la bienvenida. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> about seven miles from downtown Borrego Springs and four miles inland on a Jeep accessible road only, you will find Fonts Point centered right in the middle of the Badlands. Look at this incredible view. The area I am standing on, this earth right here, is some four million years old. This is a nature lover's dreamscape and an opportunity to imagine what once was. Centered in the arid Borrego Badlands of the Anza Borrego Desert State Park, Font's Point, named after Father Pedro Font, who was the official chaplain and observer on the De Anza expedition of 1775 and 1776. 
Fawns Point offers a majestic view of four million years of geologic history. At sunset and sunrise, the Brago Badlands creased and wrinkled ridges cast bold shadows across a maze of golden hills and sand-colored arroyos. The point is a coveted spot for nature lovers and photographers, especially at sunset or on the full moon. After a full day of sightseeing, it's time to unwind. We're here at the historic La Casa del Zorro. It's a beautiful resort here in Borrego Springs. And joining me is the general manager, Patrick Sampson. Hi, Patrick. Hello, Francoise. Pleasure to have you with us. Well, I love this property, and I always think of it as so family-friendly and a resort with a timeless elegance. We're represented frequently in San Diego, throughout the county, as being family friendly. We're historic in that we opened in the 1937, 26 swimming pools, 14 water features, all situated on 42 acres, six nightlit tennis courts, the list goes on and on. Let's talk a little bit about the rooms. You have a wide selection of lodging here. 44 deluxe king and queen rooms. Again, pools everywhere, but the spectacular interior design with marble throughout. The casitas, one to four bedroom units, they're private houses, all with a private water feature, a spa, jacuzzi, or indeed a swimming pool in your own backyard. We have an international spa, six treatment rooms, a very professional staff, and the most important thing is La Casa del Zorro is here all year round, including those spa services, food and beverage services, and of course we're open. The Fox Den, the historic watering hole, if you will, very quaint, very small, very private, but the mural is the fixture. The mural represents what the Copleys wanted La Casa del Zorro to be all about. After a fun day of sightseeing here in Borrego Valley, it's time for a delicious dinner at La Casa del Zorro. Here's our chef's special meal this evening for you. Well, it looks divine. So Marie, you're gonna have to explain to us what all these dishes are in front of me. We'll start the evening with our very special fox den salad. It's been on the menu for almost three decades. And it has jicama, avocado, fresh raspberries, fresh strawberries, candied pecans, and of course, dates. And the chef's special entree this evening is Chicken Oscar. It's a chicken breast served on Dungeness crab cake and topped with her very special Bernays sauce. We have it with baby asparagus and with potatoes. And our lovely rack of lamb is served with sautéed spinach and it has a port demi-glace raspberry sauce. Bon appetit. To you, it's just a shirt no one wears anymore. But when you donate it or any item to Angel View, we'll use the proceeds to help some severely disabled young people. Angel View, because we can all use an angel in our lives, once in a while. It's time to go exploring with me, Francoise, on Traveling with Francoise. We'll travel the roads, skies, and oceans for the unusual, the fascinating, and the just plain fun, right here on Fox 11. For info, visit TravelingWithFrancoise.com, because it's never too late to get a life. Simple, safe, secure. Your home, your business, your life. Protected 24-7 by Command One Security. The trusted local experts. Command One Security offers fire, burglar, and medical protection with remote access for control on the go. Our competitively priced quality products use the latest technology. Get free conversion for most existing systems and three months free monitoring. No landline required. Simple, safe, secure. Command One Security. Visit us online for options and special offers. I'm celebrating 18 years in the Coachella Valley. I am Fitz in the Morning and only on CV 104.3. I've got the perfect blend of music for you to start your day. You never know who's going to show up as my special guest. Join me weekday mornings. I'll see you on the radio. You can find Traveling with Francoise Thursdays at noon and Fridays at 5.30 a.m. on Fox 11. Plus every Sunday on the radio on my two-hour radio show Traveling with Francoise on Money Radio 1200 a.m. And for more information, don't forget to visit our website at TravelingWithFrancoise.com. This portion of Traveling with Francoise is brought to you by Indian Ridge Country Club in Palm Desert. Love where you play. The 500, home to Ristretto and Gallery 500, located in Palm Springs. And Diane Williams and Associates, trust experience, experience trust. 
Welcome back to Traveling with Francoise. It's hard to see Borrego Springs in just one day, so I'm bringing in the experts to take us out on a Jeep ride and show us all there is to offer here in this gorgeous valley. With us is Joseph Rofetto. He is the owner of California Overland Desert Excursions. Hey, Joe. Hey, Francois. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day and I am excited, but I want to know a little bit about your company. I frankly have only been on a few Jeep rides, so tell us what makes you guys the expert here in Borrego Springs. Well, we've been around since 2005, and uh, we're a concessionaire of Anza Borrego Desert State Park. We can take you to these hidden gems that so many people don't know about. It's kind of a little part adventure, a little part education, a little bit fun and uh, good food. And I guess also, yeah. All right. Well, you talked about the different areas that we can go to. Tell us, name some of those spots that we're going to see. Everything is so close that we mainly go to, but the park's just the size of Rhode Island. There's an incredible dry lake, incredible history out there and geology. And then there's slot canyons where uh, they're beautiful in their own right, but some are very mysterious looking. Some are, uh, the one that we mainly go to is bright and, but very serpentine. And we supply all the gear, really great food on the chuck wagon. Are we ready to go on a Jeep ride with Joseph here at California Overland Desert Excursion? I'm ready, are you? I'm ready. Okay, Let's go check out on. this amazing place. Let's okay, all cool. Right. <laughs> After an exhilarating morning Jeep ride, it's time for breakfast at the locals' favorite, the Red Ocotillo. With us once again is Linda Haddock. She is the executive director of the Chamber of Commerce here at Borrego Springs. Well, Linda, before we start our delicious breakfast here, I'm looking at a coffee cake that I can't wait to dig into. Oh, uh, yum. Now, I want you to tell us a little bit about downtown Palm Canyon Drive. What is there for visitors to do and see? Palm Canyon Drive is the hub of Borrego Springs. Starting from where the Chamber of Commerce is, there's a gas station across the street that today has prices the same as the city. We have the Trading Post on one corner, followed by the Borrego Art Institute on the other. Borrego Art Institute, just a fabulous opportunity for culture. And it has Kessling's Kitchen. And with Kessling's Kitchen, you have craft beer and some super Mediterranean food. There are some art galleries here in town. Yes, there are. There's a number of them, again, mostly all downtown. We have a few off in the off the beaten path. Beautiful places. If you look around most of our establishments as well, such as we're sitting here in the Red O, art from local artisans. I'm not going to see any big box stores. Thank you very much. I'm so glad about that. I'm not going to see a bunch of chain restaurants or chain coffee shops. Borrego is very unique that everything is community oriented. Yes, it is. We have the mall in the center. My grandchildren would call the mall in the center because it's not like the big city. But inside there are some of the most amazing specialty stores. And one reason that Borrego Springs is so community oriented. It is not going to become this huge sprawling city. It's because it's surrounded by the beautiful Anza Borrego Desert State Park, which we're going to show you that a little bit later on in the show. But Linda, now there's one thing I noticed here. There's a few stop signs, not a lot, but I don't see a traffic signal anywhere. Has there ever been one? Well, by the way, I just might have our only one. And here is your traffic signal. And its only purpose is to be handed from one honorary mayor to the next with their only official duty to be that they shall ensure and take the oath that there will be no other traffic signal than this one in the community of Borrego Springs during their tour of duty. Well, you have to love it. That's another reason why this area is so unique. And I can't wait to start our breakfast. So Linda, let's enjoy. Yes, thank you. Here we are at Christmas Circle, the hub of Borrego Springs. This is a gathering place for all the outdoor activities, from art shows to Borrego Days Desert Festival to classic car shows, you name it, entertainment. It all happens right here at Christmas Circle. Joining us is Jackie Larson. She is the architect of Christmas Circle. Hi, Jackie. Hi there. Well, this is unique, first of all, and I brought an old picture that I want you to look at. Yes. You can see this is Christmas Circle way back in the day when there wasn't a whole lot around. Actually, they had put a pile of rocks in the middle with some water and uh, built a pool around there to hold the water, and that was it. And it was uh, pretty deteriorated, unattractive and uh, no one said much about it until the Chamber of Commerce decided it should be replaced. And they came to me to replace it. 
with something new and innovative that would be long lasting and supportive of the community. Jackie, you have to feel so much pride every time you drive around this circle. Does it ever get old? No. What I feel the most is uh, joy. That you have birthday parties, anniversaries, and all sorts of activities here. And the teenage boys play soccer, and everyone's enjoying the park, and that really does my heart good, that the people are enjoying it. Driving through the roads that weave through Borrego, visitors will see 130 sculptures of wild horses in a nearby field, a saber-toothed tiger in pursuit, desert tortoises that seem as if they're crawling through the brush, and more. The artist Ricardo Brasida brings to life his sculptures by capturing each creature in motion. There is still enough to be photographed, but seem to be alive and moving. Before you start your sculpture tour, be sure to stop at the Welcome Center and pick up your free map for the sky art of Galita Meadows. For all of you golfers, you are in for a real treat when you come to Borrego Springs because they have some very unique and beautiful golf courses. And we are right here at one of them. It is Rams Hill Golf Club. And joining us is the general manager, Harry Turner. Hi, Harry. Francois, it's great to have you here. Well, it is spectacular. I know a lot of the pros come up here. They're a little getaway to come play here at Rams Hill. Well, we're very fortunate and very proud of what we have. Uh, we have one of the only Tom Fazio designed golf courses that's open to the public, that the public can play. Other than just spectacular golf, we have wonderful dining facilities. Our new chef, uh, Jeremy Manley, who has a wonderful restaurant in Julian called Jeremy's on the Hill, is our executive chef here. We're under construction of new golf cottages. Right now we have many people who come up from San Diego, from the Coachella Valley, other parts of Southern California. It'd be nice to offer them a place to lay their head down at night. One of the niches that we have found is Corvette and car clubs. Now what about tournaments? I play golf, I love to play in tournaments. How about bringing a tournament here to Rams Hill? Do you do that? Absolutely we do, we love it. That, that's a, one of our specialties. We have a great staff to, to service the golfer, the corporate golfer, charitable events as well. Again, with our food and beverage, full service clubhouse, wonderful, wonderful golf course. I think we're a perfect getaway for that. It's now time for cameraman Steve and I to have some lunch. So we're up here at Rams Hill Golf Club. Magnificent views, spectacular food. But first, we would like executive chef Jeremy Manley to describe these incredible dishes in front of us. Closest to you, this is our twist on a chicken quesadilla. What we've done is we're using a nice chicken breast that we grill off, onions, peppers, three cheese inside, and then we lay that on a bed of guacamole with house-made pico. To the left of you is our grass-fed beef burger, fresh brioche bun, a little heirloom uh, cherry tomatoes on top. Here we have our free-range half chicken dish we do uh, with the wild rice blends. We do a, a flash fry Brussels sprout with a house-made ponzu sauce. And then on top, we made an apple fennel slaw. So instead of a coleslaw being a cream-based dressing or a mayonnaise-based dressing, uh, we've taken rice vinegar, olive oil, salt, pepper, basil. And then I think we have scallops over there at the other side of the table in yes. front of cameraman Steve. So we better talk about those quickly because he'll eat them real fast. <laughs> so we got uh, uh, U10 diver scallops. Uh, we do a nice pan sear on them. Those are going to sit on top of a bed of mashed potatoes. We have a fennel confit, which we slowly roast off in the oven, served as well with sauteed vegetables, saffron vin blanc, which is a really nice light saffron cream sauce with white wine. Thank you for having us up here at Rams Hill Golf Club. Wonderful. Excellent. All right, thanks Thank so you. much. To you, it's just a chair you don't use anymore. But when you donate it or any item to Angel View, we'll use the proceeds to help some severely disabled young people. Angel View, because we can all use an angel in our lives once in a while. It's time to go exploring with me, Francoise, on Traveling with Francoise. We'll travel the roads, skies, and oceans for the unusual, the fascinating, and the just plain fun right here on Fox 11. For info, visit TravelingWithFrancoise.com because it's never too late to get a life. 
Simple, safe, secure. Your home, your business, your life. Protected 24-7 by Command One Security. The trusted local experts. Command One Security offers fire, burglar, and medical protection with remote access for control on the go. Our competitively priced quality products use the latest technology. Get free conversion for most existing systems and three months free monitoring. No landline required. Simple, safe, secure. Command One Security. Visit us online for options and special offers. I'm celebrating 18 years in the Coachella Valley. I am Fitz in the Morning and only on CV 104.3. I've got the perfect blend of music for you to start your day. You never know who's going to show up as my special guest. Join me weekday mornings. I'll see you on the radio. You can find Traveling with Francoise Thursdays at noon and Fridays at 5.30 a.m. on Fox 11. Plus every Sunday on the radio on my two-hour radio show Traveling with Francoise on Money Radio 1200 a.m. And for more information, don't forget to visit our website at travelingwithfrancoise.com. This portion of Traveling with Francoise is brought to you by Indian Ridge Country Club in Palm Desert. Love where you play. The 500, home to Ristretto and Gallery 500, located in Palm Springs. And Diane Williams and Associates, trust experience, experience trust. Welcome back to Traveling with Francoise. We are here at the Palms at Indian Head, the first resort here in Borrego Springs. Joining us is the owner, Cynthia Wood. Hi, Cynthia. Hi there, how are you? I am great, thank you. Now this property has a long, rich history to tell. Of course, it's iconic with all the celebrities. Here's your celebrity wall, and this is just a small taste or sample of the celebrities that were here staying at this property. When did you take the property over? We took this property over in 1993. It sat vacant for 16 straight years and it was really in disarray and it was raining in the rooms upstairs and David is a general contractor by trade and we thought hmm this might be interesting to bring this back as a you know a small gem desert inn. Mm -hmm. So how many rooms do you have on the property and then tell us about that amazing swimming pool outside. Yes we have 12 guest rooms on the property rooms that have stone fireplaces mid-century style rooms the original building was built in 1947 it was a wooden structure it burned to the ground in 1958 this building was built that same year 1958 that's why we have this classic mid-century modern gem of a hotel and the pool out there is original 1947 pool and it's one of the 10 largest privately owned pools in san diego county well, it's beautiful. I can only imagine what was happening in that oh, pool yes. in the oh, heyday yes. of the celebrity era. But now you, you offer your guests a little bit more intimate experience here. Mm -hmm. And I think they find that quite relaxing and just... They absolutely do. And we are at the dead end of a residential road. And you also have some fabulous dining here options. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, we do. We have our Coyote Steakhouse restaurant and we feature, you know, fine steaks and chops. It's so inviting and so welcoming. You're going to want to stay. So Cynthia, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. We're sitting here by the pool in the shade at the iconic Palms at Indian Head Resort on the outskirts of Borrego Springs. And with us is Fred G. He is the founder of the Borrego Springs Film Festival. Yes. Hi, Fred. How you doing, Fred? It's always good to see you. The Borrego Springs Film Festival, how old is that? We're, we're roughly about not quite eight years old as far as when we started the concept. We didn't actually have our first film festival in 2014. How many submissions did you have for the first one? Uh, we had 28 in our first one. 28. And, and how we many? showed 24. Yeah, <laughs> and you showed 24. And then in your last one, how many submissions did you we have? We had 227. 227. And we showed 55. This valley has been home to so many celebrities. Oh, You're yeah. a historian. You have just loved following and researching and documenting all the celebrity activity through the years. Take us back in time and tell us what's happened in Borrego Springs with the celebrity scene. Here at uh, then called the Hoburg Resort, which was here from 48 to 50, 54, it was a, a nice getaway from the studios. See, in the old days, if you were within the 100 mile limit, they can call you back at a moment's notice to go back to work. Mm -hmm. And at that time, 48 to 54, the only way to get into Borrego Springs was by aircraft. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the uh, lobby for the Hoburg Resort, now Palms at Indian Head, you see the iconic photos of some of the celebrities that have made this their playground because they could actually get away and relax. I don't think you're old enough to remember Wizard of Oz. Of course. 
course. <laughs> ah. Well, the fellow who, who played the wizard, uh, uh, Frank Morgan, mm -hmm. he came out here and uh, his picture's up there. He actually put a, made a home down here and he was actually made uh, honorary mayor. But we've also had Raymond Byrd, James Arness, Clark Gable, Marilyn Monroe, Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby spent a lot of time down here, apparently. Well, Fred, thank you so much. When you come to Borrego Springs, if you want to learn about the history, stop at the Welcome Center. See if they can find Fred, who's wandering around, a full-time resident here in Borrego Springs, and he'd be happy, because I know you love talking about the history here <laughs> and the old-time films and all the movie stars out here in the Borrego Springs. So, Fred, thanks so much for joining us. It was my pleasure. Thank you. All right. So we finally made it to the Anza Borrego Desert State Park, covering over 600,000 acres here in the Borrego Valley. There's over 200 half-day hiking trails here. There's also camping, biking, horseback riding trails, so much to do. And all the information is in the Visitor Center. So stop at the Visitor Center first, and if you forgot water, they have some here for you. Anza Borrego Desert State Park is a state park located within the Colorado Desert of Southern California. The park takes its name from the 18th century Spanish explorer Juan Batista de Anza and Borrego, the Spanish word for bighorn sheep. With 600,000 acres, that includes one-fifth of San Diego County, this is the largest state park in California. And after New York's Adirondack Park, the second largest in the United States. About 15 minutes from downtown Borrego Springs to one side of you and the Salton Sea on the other side is an ATVers paradise, Ocotillo Wells, made just for you, 85,000 acres of desert landscape for you to drive to your heart's content. So you can't miss it. If you're an ATVer, Ocotillo Wells is the place for you. For all of my radio listeners, you've heard me talk about the Borrego Springs Golf Resort and Spa over and over for many years, one of my favorite places here in Borrego Springs. Well, you probably have heard me talk to executive chef Tim Semenek, who has a new menu item, which is called Lobster Corn Dogs. With us now is executive chef Tim Semenek, and he is here at Arches Restaurant. Well, chef, tell us a little bit about them. Well, they're actually called the Whiskey Lobster Bites, and they're long process. They take it three hours to make. Well, where'd you come up with this idea? Actually, I learned it back when I was a chef when I was training in Charlie Palmer Steakhouse. Uh, they came up with the lobster corn dogs and I did a unique twist, I added sriracha inside of it. I added different seasoning that they, special ingredients. So it's like a special ingredient to my own. Are we ready? Where's our drum roll? Mmm, delicious. With my mouth full, thank you so much. Perfect, appreciate it, glad you're here. As you can see, Borrego Springs has a charm all of its own. So until next time, remember adventures are only a couple hours away. And remember, it's never too late to get a life. Hey, want to travel? I'll take you there one a time. I'll tell you where to play golf. I'll pick the spot I like. I know it's hot. Want to travel? I'll take you there one a time. I'll tell you where to play golf. I'll pick the spot I like. It's never too late to get alive.